Uh, hello everyone, uh, just wanted to give you a bit of a rundown on the track day, Monday. Uh, thoroughly enjoyed the day, well the evening actually, turned up at half three in the afternoon. Uh, yeah, checked in, got the wristband, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed the day, or the evening again, sorry. Um, yeah, there's a lot, a lot of fast riders on the track, I think because, simply because everyone's been, um, you know, a little bit deprived of the track day because of the big old C word. So we had a lot of, uh, I think they were super stock riders, test riders, that was test riders, um, you know, testing their bikes and that, getting back on the track, because there's obviously been no racing. Uh, I hope you're going to hear me all right. It's quite windy today. Um, another good test for the microphone, really. Purple Panda mic. Um, anyway, yeah, back to back, back to Snetterton. Snetterton was uh, it's the first time I've been been on track since uh, since I had the 600. And what a difference that was, Scott. And then this this bike never ceases to, to amaze me, you know. Absolutely unreal. I mean, I was kind of like just nursing it round, really. Just had my wits about me a little bit. Uh, last thing I wanted to do was come off. See a lot of the riders there, they got tyre warmers and proper professionals, you know. Uh, not me. But just enjoy, you know, enjoy the day, really. I've got another one. I'm probably going to probably going to uh, book up on another one. Maybe uh, next month. We'll see. See how it goes. Yeah. I mean, luckily the weather was good as well. The weather held out. It looked like I was going to chuck it down all day, but not a drop of rain. Not a drop. So uh, anyway, yeah, got the bike back home uh, on, on the Monday, the Tuesday. Kind of went through the bike, you know, check my fastenings, nuts and bolts and all that, because I do tend to maybe loosen off a little bit. Um, sort of my tyre pressures out again, put them back to where they should be. Uh, check the oil. Had to put a little bit of coolant in. Uh, ooh, yeah, had to put a little bit of coolant in. Uh, that was a little, that went low, but it, you know, what while I'm while I'm in the mood I'll, I'll uh, sort it out but apart from that the bike was absolutely didn't miss a beat at all didn't miss a beat yeah so anyway that's kind of kind of it for the for the info on the track day can't wait to do another one um, I mean as far as fuel goes I filled up the fuel just outside there's a filling station just outside uh, St. Edithton. so I filled up there, put some super unleaded in actually, some premium unleaded. Why not, eh? <laughs> uh, yeah, and I, li I literally, well I had to fill up on the way home because uh, part of the A47 was, uh, was closed off of uh, maintenance or whatever, so I got detoured and uh, ended up going around the houses, but luckily found a filling station because the fuel light came on. Um, yeah, thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah, absolutely brilliant. Like I say, the bike was spot on. Didn't go too crazy, as you saw, everyone was <laughs> overtaking me. <laughs> but, you know, oh well. Um, it's an experience really. I'm not so done. I think I think that was my fifth or sixth track day there. All the other ones have been on the old 600. I say old 600. That was a 2011 plate. Uh, bought that from new actually from the local dealers in Norwich. Um, yeah, that's a that's a cracking bike as well. Nothing like this, so oh, God. But yeah, that was a cracking bike. I had that for five years in the end. Sold that, but done. I say done four or five track days on that. Uh, actually fell off that one at Snetton, which was a, a bit of a disaster, but luckily there weren't too much damage. 
I had a lot of crash protection on on the bike at the time whereas this one I haven't got really any apart from the engine case covers uh, but you know should really think about doing that it's a lot of money to chuck down the road this I mean I was in I was really in two minds whether to whether to track it but I think you have to you're never going to experience this you know the the performance of something like this on the road you're not you're just not going to do it you'll end up losing your license or ending up you know in trouble so it's really really got to be sensible about it but yeah i mean the tires the tires are still good i thought maybe the tires might have uh, i don't know seen better days afterwards but it's done nearly 2000 miles now yeah 1955 uh which is a it's not a lot really um, I was saying before in the previous video about the settings you know you've got the power modes A which is the, the high power it goes up to C I left it on A all day uh, traction control I actually did shift that up on the 3 it did have a little moment but that was alright moved it down to 2 and no, no, no issues at all yeah but there, there is some bloody fast riders there maybe they're, I don't know they're there every month, I don't know, but yeah, maybe I'm getting too old <laughs> too old for it <laughs> yeah, I just, I just think that's nice to experience it stretch the legs of the bike a little bit uh, you know give it a bit of a uh, stretch of the legs yeah, these are lovely roads you can't really go too crazy but I, I come out this way quite a lot I don't know, I know the roads but what you find along here is you find a lot of uh, a lot of uh, people turn caravans and especially in the summer you never know what you're going to expect around the corner uh, oh, yeah. There is something that I would like to test out on this, and that's which I've never done, and that's uh, the launch control. Obviously, you can't do it on the track because you, you, you're never static. You know, you're in the pit pit lane there, waiting to go to uh, fill that out onto the main track. So it's not as if get a chance to test anything like that so I would, I would like to have a go at that maybe today I don't know it depends on if the weather holds out but yeah I like to I like to do a little uh, trial of that and basically you just set it up uh, on the display there uh, I think you get the two L's come up on here to indicate you're in launch control mode you just press and hold the start button just press and hold that for about i think it's about three or four seconds i don't know and then that you get the two l's indicated on this display there uh literally you just pull the clutch in open the hold the throttle wide open which will limit limit the, the, the rpm to 10,000 rpm so it won't go any higher until you launch and obviously when you you, you obviously keep keep the power open you know you can well you can go right up into the red line there they've got a bit of oil in the road here but you know shit yeah you know. um but yeah track um launch control yeah so you hold it wide open 10,000 rpm let the clutch out slowly this is from what i know from what i've heard anyway let the clutch out slowly you don't just dump the clutch that's the last thing you want to do is just dump the clutch uh, and then yeah just pin it and that'll launch you off nicely um, you know using the the, the the bike sort of computer and that to keep the front end down hopefully <laughs> uh, yeah uh, let's have a go shall we nothing behind me here nothing behind okay Let's get a bit of ground here. This will be about enough there. Should be as easy as this. And hopefully I don't end up in the bush. Alright, here we go. 
press and hold that down there's your two L's on there see the two L's on the display there whoa fucking hell unbelievable that fuck that front end come up it's all about the swearing that was unbelievable <laughs> I'll have to try that again that put the wind up me a little bit <laughs> <laughs> slow down, slow down. <laughs> Bloody hell. Oh, I'll tell you what, you, <laughs> you wouldn't believe that. I mean, you can pull away. You can pull away nice and easy. <laughs> you know, given at large. But you, that was just, oh, the front wheel was just hovering. I, I, the front wheel just went right light. <laughs> it, was, it was hovering. And it's mud in the road. Bloody hell, that is, a, that is the downside about the coast road. You get loads of tractors and stuff. But, cool. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm amazed at that uh, launch control. I actually put the wind up me a little bit. Let's turn around here. Christ. That's got the old heart, heartbeat racing, that has. Jesus. <laughs> Unbelievable. A bit weary about trying that again. <laughs> to be honest, Jesus, Mr. Window Cleaner, he probably heard me actually. He's probably like, What the hell's that? Bouncing off the limiter, or well, 10,000 anyway. That was unbelievable. I'll tell you what, I did. I think I gripped the bars a bit too tight, bit too hard there. But when it sort of come down, it felt a bit, bit wobbly, you know. You know, uh, oh, I don't know whether I have another go at that. Bloody hell. Oh, end up in the bloody hedge. Oh dear. I think I'm going to have to, you know. I think I'm going to have to have another go. Sod it. Oh, right. It's easy, it's dead easy. It's literally just nothing behind me there. Right, first gear, press and hold. That's two L's. Oh shit, here we go. Oh no. You gotta hold it at 10,000. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, it's not good. Hang on. There you go, that's better. Right, here we go. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I didn't quite do it, get it right that time. I think I'm gonna leave <laughs> that today. I think the road's a bit too bumpy anyway for that. Christ! Ah. <laughs> the front wheel just came up, and I think it's too, the road's too bumpy. Uh, Christ, that's something I need to work on a little bit. Mind you, you're not really going to do that at the traffic lights. You look like a roy penis, wouldn't you? Uh, it's, good, it's a good experience, though. The first time round, Jesus. Oh, anyway, calm down. Right. <laughs> oh, calm down. Jesus, I don't know, what else have I got to say then, uh, oh dear, I'm a bit sort of uh, shocked by that, Jesus, yeah there is oil on the right, look that's old oil by the look of that, but someone's, I don't know, had a problem there, Tell you what I do like about this bike, it's the quick shift and the blipper. It's so bloody smooth, you just drop it down without the clutch. Away you go, lean her over. Beautiful. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. Lean her over. This has got that uh, 10 stage traction control linked into your anti wheel well unfortunately you, the anti wheelie is linked in with it so you can't turn the anti wheelie off and have the traction control on which is a bit of a downer uh, there's quite a few models what do that I believe uh, you know it's all good fun all good fun so yeah that basically sums it up really uh, thoroughly enjoyed the day Monday. Um, 
Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, that was what I was booked on the track day before. I had to cancel because of this uh, uh, COVID thing, you know. It's quite nice to finally get on there. Give me enough time to pluck up courage to actually do it on this thing. Uh, so it's not always you, it can be other people on the track getting carried away and, oh, oh, you know, done their thing about really. And up on your ass. Uh, right. Yeah, I'm trying out a new mic at the moment, so hopefully it's come out uh, nice and clear. Uh, one of those purple panda mics. It's supposed to be, they've got bloody good reviews, you know. A lot of people use them. Uh, it's in the GoPro uh, Hero 8 in the media mod, so the, the jack. I don't know if you've seen the other video, but the jack uh, just plugs straight in there. And there's no need for that bloody great mic adapter. Uh, uh, that's enough about that anyway. Um, yeah, well anyway, kind of tried out the launch control. <laughs> Didn't quite go how I, how I expected, but I think you just need the bollocks just to, just, you know, hold the power there and let that clutch out. First thing I was tempted to do was close the throttle off a little bit, and as soon as you do that, that then cancels out the launch control. The launch control will stay on, as far as I'm aware, will stay on until you get to third gear. So you could seriously just keep the bike pinned up to third gear. Oh, yeah, you'd be doing some some fair old lick then, I should think. Yeah. Oh, I love these roads. These roads are brilliant. This bike just soaks it all up. Absolutely soaks it. Soaks it up. Oh, lovely. Absolutely lovely. And, uh, not many people about today, which is nice as well. Uh, I'll tell you what I did, it did uh, quite surprise me, which I going back to the, the Snitterton track day thing again, was if you've seen the other videos, how the you know the data run up through uh, an app called Race Chrono Pro, which is where where your GoPro, the Hero 8, and I think the 7 as well, that will record your GPS data. So again, if I don't know if you've seen the other videos, but if you haven't, feel free to watch them. But uh, yeah, it records all your GPS data. So when when you get back from the track day, you load, basically just load your footage into this this app, all your data. Uh, you know, and that will literally just, like magic, just stick all your, 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 your lap data and your speed, your lean angles, where you're on the circuit. It's absolutely brilliant, I thought, anyway. The only thing I did know was, I don't know whether it's something I done wrong, whether it's just a poor GPS signal. It's on one of the videos there. There's a little bit of a lag. I don't know if anyone know, know the reason why that's doing that. It could just be the GPS, weak GPS, but... I know there's a bit of a time lag on the, you know, you'd be opening the bike up and the needle that would then slowly move on the, on the app. But let me know anyway. Anyone's got any ideas on that? But apart from that, that worked seemed to work seamlessly. Uh, yeah. So I will we'll do another video with the old launch control at some point. Clo on a closed road, of course. <laughs> uh, yeah, I might even have a little read up on that, but I'm pretty sure, this is a very bumpy road this, but yeah, I'm pretty sure that uh, you do, you, that'll, that'll take you up to third gear, full, full pelt, and so you don't actually get the opportunity to do it on the track, but... It'd be quite good to have a go. Yeah. Anyway, well, thanks for watching. Uh, I'll say if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. Um, hit the like button if you if you like it. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.